Let's go. The Ace and TJ family presents Unfiltered, Uncensored, and Uninterrupted. Well, almost. Right here. Let's go. This is Share Funny from the Ace and TJ Show Plus. I think everybody on the show has kept up with the um, the things, the details about the Queen's funeral and and all of that kind of stuff way more than I have. Some of it is interesting, though. Like what Riggins was just saying about a piper that wakes her up every morning. Yeah. Did you say that or Alex- Alex- Alexia. Alexia said that? So a guy would run up and underneath the, her win- bedroom window and play... What kind of pipes? Crack pipe? Bagpipes. Oh, God. I love that. Bagpipes? That's what it said on the article. Yeah, so we'd run un- under her window and play bagpipes as her alarm clock. As her alarm. Gently waking her up. Her majesty. Oh, I love God. It. Yeah, I would not want to be awakened by bagpipes I wouldn't every day. Either. I, I would, love bagpipes. I would uh, have uh, uh, all bagpipers <laughs> beheaded if they were caught yeah. bagpiping <laughs> on my royal grounds. Ain't no bagpipers bagpiping around here, man. Mm-mm. Hell no. Take yeah. that whiny ass depressing shit somewhere else. I like bagpipes, too, now, but it's not what I would want to wake me up I would. Day. I want to get married and have bagpipes at my wedding. Yeah. Playing um, the music you walk into, yeah, like uh, and the and at me. the discotheque afterwards <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for dancing. <laughs> would you have the bagpipers come down the aisle in front of you? Oh, that would be lit. I mean, yes. That's the way I see like it. Like I have a procession. Like I love suddenly, that. suddenly everyone hears the bagpipes Jeez. playing in the back, and as they stand for the bride to come in, first the bagpipes mm-hmm. proceed down the front. They come all the way down the aisle, and they, when they get to the front, they turn. And then they start the procession as you come in behind them. I love that. She has arrived. How many uh, pipers smoke? pipe? <laughs> From the, how many pipers are piping? Is it eight pipers piping? Huh. I don't know. Is that what that's in reference to? A bag, a, a bagpiper person? I guess. I, mean, I don't know. Saying. But um, that's not uh, not really a, um, a, a career for your people, is it, though, Alexis, being a bagpiper? Uh, no, I don't Not think I've ever Not many Salvadorians found... play the bagpipes. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a set of bagpipes in El Salvador. You're one of one. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the percentage of uh, people in America who play the bagpipes are of um, minority. It's a <laughs> persuasion. Eleven pipers piping 11. before anybody messages us. Uh-huh. Eleven pipers piping. Yeah. Piping. yeah because if you, if you, you, you were... Never, yeah. I mean, if you play bagpipes for, uh, you know, you charge people to play for funerals and events and and things like that, you would have, you know, a a hook for promotion if you were, you know, you could bill yourself as whatever town, you know, like Charlotte's, Charlotte's only black bagpiper. (laughs) That's a great idea. Do the kilt and everything. Yeah. Wear the whole thing. Yeah, that's a great angle. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Is there anybody that ever plays the bagpipes without a kilt? They better not. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That seems like a sin. If they <laughs> if they're playing bagpipes around me, they liable to get killed because I hate them. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't care for them either. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you kill be killed up in here. Up in here. <laughs> I want synthesizers at my funeral. Not a damn bagpipe. With a synthesizer. I won't. Do, 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 do. Like 80s funk sounding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want, I want that stuff. I want a big bass line. At what, your funeral? My funeral, oh. yeah. Mm. I like that little funk. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder what the weirdest instrument that's ever been played at a funeral is. Uh, a skin kazoo. Blue. <laughs> Ew. Skin blue. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a video of that happening too. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Mm-hmm. Sure, you have. Just recently. Yeah. Oh, God. But the uh, the <laughs> the wife, the widower, with yeah. the widow. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. with a Paul Bear. <laughs> <laughs> but does she <laughs> does she tell the piper what time to be out there, or is he just out there because she's got to wake up at the same time every day? <laughs> What if the queen wants to sleep in? Does she tell the well, bagpiper, 
don't come until 9 30. yeah i bet they work that out every day because someone who i bet this the person who keeps her schedule says okay so tomorrow you have blah 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 so you'll be awakened at 7 a.m uh mm -hmm. having to set your alarm is such a thing if she has to like do that like I, you just can't set your alarm on your phone. You have to call the piper and tell him. Yeah, well, she's not doing it. Yeah, somebody well, does yeah, it for somebody her. Somebody does it. She just Still. waits and listens yeah. for. Her. But uh, how much does that person make, and what else does, is that piper piping uh, okay, for? Let's see is that the only? Do they have separate pipers for lunch? Do they have? I mean, is he the just the wake up piper? <laughs> There was a story out a few years ago that they were going to have to lay off the piper because the yeah. funds were tight. I don't know if that was true or not, but, and that's what I found. Oh my gosh, there's somebody that play, wakes her up with the, the piping every morning. I thought it was a different instrument though. He is. I, I just I'm googling oh, things now. And it's it's just, at this moment, he's playing, sleep, dearie, sleep. Aww. Sleep, dearie, sleep. Oh, that probably is <laughs> a lot. For yeah. Her. So he's losing his job. So you know what he's doing. What? Stewing. Absolutely stewing, this guy is. <laughs> oh, look at him. Abs absolutely stewing, this guy is. Pissed. <laughs> Are you taking the piss out of me? <laughs> oh, yeah, that look sucks. Look at him uh, with his little outfit. Yeah, he looks like a goober. He's what they're so doing cute. is pretty cool, though. Oh, stop he's it. Going to, apparently, he's going to play <laughs> he's like, the, he's playing the song that he played for her. Love it. The last thing he will play for her is the song that he played for her every morning. My name. Well, uh, and, my bad. Yeah. Hey, hey. And then <laughs> as he plays, <laughs> as everyone stands in the in the 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 royal vault, whatever, as they lower her body into the royal vault, he will play and then begin to walk away, mm -hmm. so that the music will fade as she's lowered down. By the time she gets to the bottom, the music will have faded out as he walks outside. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be playing. I'm trying to see how much money. She's a wooty, a white girl with a booty. Pull over that ass too fat. Woo woo. Pull over that ass too fat. Woo woo. Playing WAP after that. <laughs> like this is not what we pictured. <laughs> a funeral fit for a queen. Why can't he fade it out himself? Why he got to leave? He should be a good enough bagpipe player to be able to fade it. Yeah. They're just like, all right, so. Go on out. Start walking backwards. <laughs> but doesn't say how much he makes, huh? Where does he live? Does he live to... on the ground? Yeah. Does it's... he live? Because uh, what if what if she needs to get up super early? Okay. Say just go ahead and sleep here tonight. And... Yeah, just stay under my window. Yeah, you can't a, miss a day. Put like, a tent up. I slept till three p.m. <laughs> <laughs> my effing bagpiper was sick. <laughs> and how how are her how are her windows? Not soundproof in the castle. Yeah, you would How think. can she even uh, hear it? <laughs> you know, she doesn't need soundproof windows at the castle. Nobody's close enough. I missed work. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Yeah, the castle's hit, right on hit, the road. How do you hit snooze on a piper? <laughs> yeah. He's playing it in like <laughs> 10 mean, minutes. So, I mean, give me nine minutes. <laughs> I can't find <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Throw a rock out the window. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> What if she's already away? You know how sometimes when you beat your alarm and you just turn it off and keep it from going over, she just stands at the window and say, hey, like halfway across the yard, she's like, go on back. I'm awake. Yeah, I'm awake. Oh, he yeah. wasted his whole damn day. Yeah, take your ass back. I'm good. Yeah, fine. What if you need to set an alarm for a nap? <laughs> you need to tell him to come back. I'm planning on taking mm -hmm. a nap today. Yeah. But I bet you she, it's quite possible that he plays that for her every morning to wake up and he's never spoken to her. No, he's yeah. spoken to her. Like she never, you know, would step out and, and say, uh, yeah, that's very nice, Reginald. Stop playing now, you yeah. piece of shit. He could easily <laughs> just stand outside yeah, the door it. and play, and then her assistant comes in to see if she's awake. Or when the light comes on, yeah. he knows that he's he's leave, he's got to yeah. leave. And they're like, okay, you're done. Yeah. See you tomorrow. What, what's she going to do? Come to the window in her nightgown, no bra? Yeah. Ew. Tell him to go on. Hey, nice, good morning. Nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hope he didn't play the day that she died. Well, if waiting it was for her a, to wake up, and she never woke up. Well, she was gone. She wasn't at the, yeah. she was the hospital. hospital or oh, she yeah, was in that's right. Whatever, Wales or somewhere. Mm. Baltimore. Dolphins. She loved dolphins and whales, from what I, <laughs> from what I understand. I just love them. <laughs> Aww. These are the royal dolphins. 
<laughs> a royal fleet of dolphins. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was riding on a big horse just a couple of years ago. I mean, she, that was a woman that was, I mean, pretty spry into her final days, riding a big horse. Well, how old was uh, George H. W. Bush when he when he jumped out of a plane the last time? That was ninety something too. Yeah, that's pretty unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do that. Which one? I get a Piper. <laughs> uh, George H. W. was seventy-two when he jumped out of a plane. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was in his nineties. Uh, he, yeah, I thought he, he did, did it too. Multiple yeah, times. he did. Oh, okay. That's the last time he did it. Yeah. Yeah, he was ninety-four when he died. Maybe mm. he was ninety. Um, but that's just an extra person that I'm gonna have to interact with. You know, if I got a Piper out there. Oh, you were right. It was on his ninetieth birthday he did it. You know what I would like to play if somebody were going to play an instrument outside my window to wake me up every morning? What? Uh, I would want to hear the intro of um, that Vanessa Carlton song that I love, the piano. (laughs) (laughs) What's that one called? Something Miles? miles. Thousand Miles? miles. Yeah. That could wake me up every morning. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I love it. Immediately brings a smile to my face. I think uh, 1999 by Prince. Making my way downtown. That... Oh man, it's time to wake up today. Feel good. I need uh, I need light. That people that have the regular iPhone alarm to wake them up. It's goes, Yeah, that's I go, me. Who wants to wake up like that? Yeah. Mine is that I ring. I have to. I have like ten alarms I'm not getting up. Right. Oh my God. Mine is that ring. That. I started putting my phone um by my TV stand, so it makes me get up. I can't just hit snooze. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty. Wake up, DJ. You're not smiling. Shut up. Mm. Is this... If I if I were able if I wasn't concentrating on not letting much of it play so we don't get fined. <laughs> Is this the Duke of Funk? It's time yeah. to wake up. I mean, imagine those. can you still can you still make a song be your alarm like you used to be able to? Yeah, because I may yeah, do that. I put that as my song. Yeah, I used to have "Die Young" by Kesha as mine. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song, man. <laughs> you did Just not have you love Kesha it. waking you <laughs> yes, up I for did. your alarm. <laughs> the, I wow. hear your heart beat to the beat of the drums. <laughs> Boy, I got Kesha. Yeah, I love Kesha. <laughs> yeah, I do too. That's a good one, Rob. <laughs> you want to every day, Rob. <laughs> oh, Rob. How long? When, 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 when did that end, Rob? Well, I had some difficulty getting it to, to work when I got a new phone one time, so I just gave up on oh. it. You mm. told us that. Mm. Okay. Specifically, Alexis. <laughs> it starts with that build-up. Uh, you know, it mm-hmm. gives me time to enjoy it yeah. first before I have to wake mm. up. Lit. Yeah. I used to have uh, to give me inspiration to get up and go work out. I used the uh, the song "Fat Boy" by <laughs> Jewel. Yeah. Fat boy uh, goes to the pool. It's a heart wrenching song. And then at one point, I used "I'm Fat" by Weird Al. <laughs> Because I'm fine, I'm fine. Your butt is wide, well, mine is too. <laughs> so you see that TJ started the day in a very yeah. optimistic t- yeah. <laughs> mind frame. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, I'd start my day off with Kesha. I love Kesha. Okay. <laughs> First of all. This is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. More next. Did you know underneath the floors of your house, a lot can go on in the crawl space? If moisture gets in, it could wreak havoc on your family and home. From mold and mildew growth to rotting wood and more, Cardinal Environmental Solutions offers vapor barriers, encapsulation, and dehumidifiers to combat moisture in your home. Contact Kelly Poplin and his knowledgeable team of experts at acetj.com slash cardinal. That's acetj.com slash cardinal. The Johnson Group Facility Services is a commercial cleaning company that focuses more on customer satisfaction than the bottom line because each customer works directly with the owners every step of the way. If you need any commercial cleaning, the Johnson Group can handle it. Get details at acetj.com slash clean. This is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. Let's go! Okay, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy story that is probably going to make everybody at some point during the story uh, clinch uh, everything inside of you. Um, So in other words, you'll clinch your your butt's going to clinch, and then all of your insides will as well. Uh, 
this 66 year old woman in Dublin, Ireland, um, was being treated for in uh, <laughs> ingesting a quote unknown number of batteries, like double A batteries. Ooh. Um, so they started out by, um, you know, with an x-ray and, and all this, and, uh, they were all in her abdomen. None appeared to be obstructing her, uh, gastrointestinal tract, AKA GI. Mm -hmm. And no batteries showed signs of structural damage, like leaking out acid and lithium or whatever into her system. The treatment team initially took a conservative approach, meaning they observed her closely to see if uh, uh, how many batteries would just pass on their own through her. Um, well, the medical term for it is poo poo. <laughs> Over a one week period, she passed five double A batteries. Uh. But x-rays uh, taken over the following three weeks showed that the vast majority of the batteries had failed to continue progressing through her body. So, by this time, the patient was experiencing uh, uh, abdominal pain that, that was uncontrollable. She underwent uh, laparotomy, laparotomy. Surgeons made an incision to access her abdom abdominal cavity. They found that the stomach, pulled down by the weight of the batteries, had become distended and stretched into the area above the uh, public bone. Wow. Oh, no. So, they had to cut a small hole in her stomach, and they removed 46 batteries. All double A's? Double A and triple A batteries. Okay, here's the... Oh, here's the part. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. Four additional batteries were stuck in her colon, and they had to be, quote-unquote, milked into the rectum and removed from the anus. Ew, I don't want anybody milking my rectum. <laughs> 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 Ever. Doctor, please don't milk my don't rectum. Don't milk so my rectum. They had to, in the Just, intestines, they had to grab yeah. the battery and pull it through until it went somewhere where they could grab a hold of it and pull it out. Like you would do a string and a pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. where you, yeah, where, the where drawstring. Draw, so you yeah. try to work it back through to get out there. Mm -hmm. oh, How no. long did so, that take? I don't know, but it says that wow. all in all, 55 batteries. 55. What the mm -hmm. heck? She's now uh, battery free. But it's a mental condition, right? It has to be some kind of mental condition that she's she eats batteries. Uh, she just says she was starving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, craving some batteries. <laughs> yeah, it's a self harm thing, yeah. kind of like cutting yourself, something like that. Does it like do any sort of electrical stuff inside of your body, like when they connect to your t skin or whatever? I don't know. To give you a little jolt. Yeah. I was I was wondering the I same thing, so. Rob. Or if if the the acid in your stomach, the acids in your stomach would eat away at the Ooh. outer shell of the battery and somehow they could react. That would be bad, too. Mm. Well, what would it feel like to poop a battery? <laughs> I mean, Can't it's only a it. double A. Are you willing to give it a shot? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? It's not like it's the big square one. The but, D's, I the mean, double D. Yeah. <laughs> but still, it a double A is bigger than a triple A. A, a triple A is the smallest one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That'd The double be A is like what goes into the remotes most of the time, yeah. I feel like. But... You also have to take into consideration it's not a given that it's going to come out, mm. uh, that it won't come out sideways. Oh. oh. Yeah, there's a Is there anything a. you can do to change the direction? What? <laughs> <laughs> like a baby, you know how they move them around yeah. in the stomach. That's probably going to require getting a hand up in there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But how, how would you just swap... Riggins has the AAA battery out here, and it, yeah. It Just imagine big. swallowing that. Yeah, I don't think it would be hard to swallow these. Try it. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> one won't hurt. <laughs> give, it a, give it a shot. Oh. I mean, it's a lot of weight. I can see yeah. why that would make yeah. your stomach sink. Yeah, because you said 60 of them, right? 55. 55. Yeah. But, in, but in double, double A's, A's and triple A's. That'd be pounds. A's. Double A's are you know, twice mm. as heavy as those. Mm. That's great. Maybe that's why I can't lose weight. I got to get rid of this battery you weight. Got, you, you got, got batteries? Those, those batteries stuck in there. <laughs> as soon as I lose these last... 13 battery pounds. I'll be at my my goal weight. We're going to have to milk these out. <laughs> Can we milk, these milk your into friend? Into your anus. <laughs> just let me die, Doc. I just picture they... I just well, picture she's that being asleep. something... Yeah. No, I don't care. Yeah, but I think... <laughs> I think the doctors probably didn't know until they got into it. And they're like, oh, man. Oh, Damn, we're going to have to milk these out. We're going to have to milk I thought we were going to get out of here before four, but now we're not. Let's start milking. And they're all holding pieces of the intestine, squeezing it yeah. as yeah. you go in a line. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But, I mean, I wonder if the batteries were dead. That was exactly my question. If not, mm. can they pop them in the remote and use them? <laughs> we can never have too many batteries. Double A, it's a great battery. Mm -hmm. Even a triple A, that's a nice little find sometimes. Mm -hmm. We have a drawer that's full of every size of battery. <gasps> it's awesome. stocked. Are you rich? Yeah. Mm, bat we're battery rich. It's a yeah. rich person thing. Yeah, yeah I is. can't remember a time when anybody in my house has needed a battery that Jody didn't already have one there to... Yeah. So they would have to say, oh, I got to go to the store and get batteries. That's like a sign it's that never. you really have your life together. Yeah, it is. That you have mm -hmm. every type of battery yeah. at your disposal. It's his retirement uh, even, plan. Even but C and D batteries. What? Nobody uses What's those anymore. What's a C battery? I don't it's even a know. flashlight battery. They used to call them flash because that was the standard. Oh. The C was the standard battery, and then D was the large battery. There was a time, based upon that piece of information, that I, or I thought, you know what? That's good planning. And years ago, that I ordered one of those cases that's made for batteries and i went to the store and filled that bad boy up oh, nice. and and had like you need a battery i got a whole case right right here you just feel like you got your life i don't know what together. happened to that but now i've started going like if i need say i need okay i know i need triple a batteries when i go to the store i'll go ahead and buy a package of double a's at the same time so it, you mm -hmm. know unless it's a d or something specifically i've always got a battery around nice yeah we got triple A, double A, C, D, uh, five. Uh, no, we call them nine volt. Like the little the circle little, ones, the square ones, oh. and the little circle ones that go in in small fobs things. and stuff. Yeah. You guys are flexing right and now. Not you guys, it's Jody. <laughs> Flex I'd be switching uh, remote batteries from one room to the next. Yeah. If it were up to me, you hit the back of the road. Like, Come on, this back. Work. put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. It got a little juice left. Two more channels. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody would pick up the remote in the living room and go, "Why is this so light?" Go, well, I got the batteries in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you walked in my, if it weren't for Jody, you could walk in my house and constantly hear beep. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke detectors. Yep. Dead ass batteries. <laughs> ass batteries. Ass batteries. Uh -huh. So anyway, there's your uh, medical story for the day. But I missed the part. Maybe I missed the part. Did it say about her recovery? Will she be able to go back to a normal life? Yeah. Or has her, has her stomach yeah. been so messed up now that it's caused a lot of other medical issues? And it said no permanent damage done. Wow. Then again, you look it's hard to believe. It's a foreign hospital, too. Where is she at? Ireland. Ireland. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, she bad. must be from Ireland because my penis is Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> All their food sucks there. It makes sense. Fish that they chips, would probably. eat batteries. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's funny that's meant to be shared. This is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. Now, better ingredients, better pizza means that each bite of every Papa John slice just keeps getting better. From that first bite you have to blow on to that second bite of crispy, crunchy toppings to that string of gooey, melty cheese. And just when you're thinking this cannot get any better, you get to the crust and you realize it's not just any crust. Oh, no. It's epic stuffed crust that's hand stuffed with cheese. Better ingredients, better pizza, even better when it's stuffed. 
Share Funny is a production of the Ace and TJ family. For more, download the Ace and TJ app in your app store. Now, more of the Share Funny podcast. Turn on. All right, I know it's September. It's past the middle of September. But, you know, the area where we live, it's not, you know, it's not time yet for soup and grilled cheese and, you know, stuff like that. You're seeing those those recipes all over, you know, for the comfort food and, and all that stuff. You know, just as any other um, highly masculine, heterosexual, 53-year-old man would be doing as I'm searching recipes online. You know. Girl. <laughs> Uh, broccoli cheddar soup with grilled cheese. I mean, broccoli cheddar soup with a turkey sandwich. Ooh. It's Rob's favorite soup. Yeah. You can dip anything into that soup, and it's delicious. Not if it's hot. True. There are certain things, if it's hot, you can't dip into it yeah. unless you're going, you want your peanuts burned. Yeah. <laughs> Do not put your peanuts in broccoli cheddar soup ever. <laughs> Why do you think Rob likes it so much? <laughs> 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 First off, yeah. come get a taste of this cheese dick. Uh, <laughs> you are uh, not one to be telling me why uh, I can and can't dip my pants. Yep. My body, right my there. choice. Right there in Panera. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm just doing a little tiss. I do like Temp-tess. broccoli cheddar soup, though, but it, uh, I can't understand people eating that as a as a meal. A lot of times, soups aren't, aren't full meals. It's got to have a lot of stuff in it to be a meal. Like a chunky soup? Even then, it's still not a full oh, no, I'm not, eat, I'm not eating chunky soup. It's an not canned soup. Never. Oh, really? Ugh. Oh, I like that stuff. I don't either. Mm-hmm. I'll eat regular eat Campbell's Mm-mm. soup, but not. I don't like any of the chunky ones. Oh, I do. I don't even do the Campbell's, just regular chicken soup. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do. There are, there are a few Campbell's soups that I do like, but I, it's just something about the. Um, that. What is the the, mo- the most famous chunky one? The beef? Yeah, like a beef pot yeah. kind of thing with vegetables. Yeah. Mm. No, no, this is... Um, There's a I steak and the potatoes, l- chunky yeah. soup steak yeah. and potatoes. And all. Yeah, I don't like that. It's good. Oh. This is like meat inside of a can that's just sitting on a shelf. It's just weird to me. Yeah, and it was ready to go in about 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, I, do, I, I don't have a problem with, uh, like with meat in the can. Yeah. Mm-mm. And I'm surprised you do, Alexis. Mm-hmm. I have a problem with that. Meat in a can? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You always struck me as somebody who definitely liked meat in the can. <laughs> From the moment I met you. I mean, I would have lost my house in that bet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if somebody <laughs> said Alexis didn't like meat in the can. You look like it was the a type. sure thing. <laughs> yeah. You give off meat in the can vibes. <laughs> that you loved it. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't get I'm enough. sensing, <laughs> you know, some very strong meat in the can vibes from you. Some low frequency vibrations. <laughs> well, but I do love canned fried chicken. Oh. <laughs> fried chicken in a can. Gross. If you could just open up a can and there's some fried chicken thighs pressed down in there, that yeah. would be great. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> they used to sell a cheeseburger in a can. They did? A fully mm-hmm. cooked cheese. I've seen somebody on YouTube try uh-huh. it. They open it up and it's wrapped in paper and it just comes in the can. You know, in the can. You pull it out, unwrap it, heat it up. Ew. And it's like, oh, brother. No, thanks. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be worse, though, than those uh, the pizza Lunchable. No. The pizza Lunchables are good. But they're not I good. love them. Uh, I've never had... I don't think I've ever had the pizza Lunchable. Mm-hmm, they're good. It comes with a little packet of... Uh, tomato sauce and it has a nasty flavor to it and then little circles of pita it's like pita bread right yeah and what does it have, have pepperoni and, pepper and mozzarella, mozzarella and it's yeah. cold it's cold. cold yeah I've had that <laughs> it's good I like uh, it I you do Rob it. yeah you put them in mm. the oven they're actually a really good snack Mm-mm. yeah I've had those the nacho not, ones are the best though the great. nacho lunchables not whose Nachos. I didn't know they made those. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ace and I did an uh, appearance uh, for the radio station Saturday, and uh, it was for a, a development neighborhood. And they had a taco truck 
come up in there. It was more of a taco trailer. They were pulling it behind the truck, but still. And the guy that works, his name's Al. He works for the promotions department of the radio station. He went up and got something to eat from the taco truck. And he came out with a plate, like a normal size plate. And it was just stacked high with what looked to be fast food type fries. And it was covered in a nacho cheese sauce. And it had jalapenos on it. And it had all kinds of stuff that they had piled on top of those fries. And it looked so damn good. At first, from a distance, I thought he had a funnel cake. (laughs) That's how big it was on the plate. Yeah, I thought it was nacho. Y'all didn't eat from the truck? No. No. I don't eat in front of listeners. What about you, Ace? You eat everything. You eat everything. Yeah, we were working. And then I was on my way to a birthday party, so I don't want to eat and they had they had mm-hmm. food at the birthday party. That sounds amazing. Did Al uh, was he able to make it through the rest of the event? Without? It was toward the end. Toward oh, okay. Yeah, I would have been very hesitant to do anything like that at the beginning mm-hmm. of an event like that, <laughs> just in case. But everything so that came out of that taco truck that? looked <laughs> delicious. Yeah, and they yeah. Well, they had us set oh. up it with a tent, um, like one spot, and then directly across from us, like five steps, was where the taco truck window was facing. So we got. We smelled everything coming out oh, of there. Oh, I could not yeah. have eaten at all. It was, it was, it all. was it and it delicious. delicious. Yeah. Oh, it was oh. so good. Y'all are crazy. Mm-hmm. But it that that cheese sauce did not come out of a pump in a in a big yeah. can. A ladle. Yeah, <laughs> you could tell. Mm. Yeah, it was uh, it was homemade. You can put anything on fries and it would be good. But Riggins, you love chili cheese fries, right? Oh, That's yeah. your one of your weaknesses. That might be like my top three favorite things right. ever. Me too. This didn't fries. have the chili. That's fine. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind the pump cheese. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I, I like I don't mind. I maybe I'm with you. I'm okay with it. Alexis, you don't like it either. It's not my the favorite. Cheese, huh? Any cheese in a can, too, is weird to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, spray but cheese? Cheese Whiz. Ugh. Oh, I do like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like the. the it's squirt so cheese. fake. I like the squirt cheese on, am, on a cracker. I, God, I love that squirt cheese. This is a nice cheese spread. <laughs> Never lasts very long. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I wonder how much That's cheese it. actually goes in that little can. Because they, you know, it's an aerosol kind of situation in that can. So it's got to have a lot of air in it. My mouth is watering thinking about that <laughs> mm-hmm. cheese. It's so good. And it's expensive. You ever eat yeah. it with Bronswagger? No. You get a Ritz. And you put a hunk of bronze swagger on it and then spray it with that with the squirt cheese. Mm. <sighs> It'll scare the piss out of you when it's cold beer. too. Yeah. Get cold beer. But there's nothing more delicious than after you've already used it and you come back to the can and that little hard piece is in yeah. the in the thing. <laughs> I love that. Ew. Oh, no. Oh, I pulled that piece out. Oh, that makes me want to vomit. Stop. <laughs> yeah, it gets no. like concrete <laughs> hard. Yeah. Yeah, I don't eat that. Oh, Pull good. I was so concerned. <laughs> it almost becomes like yeah, a, it's a, it's a like makeshift a, cap that goes yeah. on. Because <laughs> it's, it's, basically, it's basically like squeezing a zit. Yeah. I'm about to yeah. get up. that out. Stop it. <laughs> to get that part out. You guys are disgusting. And they have all the different, you, you know, eat that. Oh, it's is, so good, though. One no. is American. One is sharp cheddar. It's like, I'm yeah, sure it's, it's not. Yeah, well, obviously not. <laughs> Do they have a pepper jack? In that? I don't know. The only two I remember were the American and Sharp Cheddar. Cheese flavored product. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. What would you call that? Ugh. Easy Cheese? Yeah. I think is what it, the name of it. The only cheese that I like like that would be the ones that, that you put the stick in that and you dip the yeah. piece that's of the stick. Crack it's about yeah. the same. That's the same type. It's not the same type of cheese. Basically. Mm-hmm. It tastes about the same. I bet, I bet Easy Cheese is, be- is better for you. I bet not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. It's better for you. Yeah. Nobody, you know, it's packed with nutrients. Nobody was talking about yeah. the health aspect of it. <laughs> nutrients and like, vitamins. I mean, that shit's diet. You take your damn spread cheese and get out of here. I want spray cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love those. I save those little red sticks. And I use them for mayonnaise. Yeah. And it's perfect. They're perfect. Let's see. <laughs> the uh, red sticks. Currently, you have cheddar, sharp cheddar, cheddar and bacon, in America. Oh, oh, oh I forgot about bacon. cheddar and bacon. I don't, I don't think I've yeah. ever seen that. Yeah, I'm sure that's delicious. Uh, that one's kind of gnarly. Oh, easy mm-hmm. cheese. That's so disgusting. Good. Created in 1966, instant cheese for instant parties. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, yeah. Hey, if so I went to a party, party t- broke out, you were like, whoa, Shit. you know, we need cheese. If I went to a party and, and I walked in the door and they handed me my, you know, everybody got their own 
easy cheese can to use. Oh my for goodness! Stuff. I think I'd have gone. That'd be damn uh, royalty. Right yeah. there at, uh, at Buckingham Palace. We've got a variety of crackers on the table. Here's your cheese bottle. Oh mm-hmm. my God. Do you ever put it on anything other than crackers? That's all I've ever used it for. No. Yeah. Did you put it straight in your mouth? Uh, yeah, I've done that. Like whipped cream? Mm. Ugh. Yeah, I've never done that. I always liked it on Triscuits. Like a regular Triscuit with that cheese. Oh, you like Triscuits. I, I use the mm. Ritz. Would you put that on a sandwich? No. No. I might put it on a hot dog, though. Oh. Yeah, I'm opposed to that. Yeah, I'm, it, yeah, it would be bad. Um, but do you like Velveeta? Yeah. Okay. Like, because that's not that's not real cheese. Yeah, it's either. product. I know, but something. But at least that's in the refrigerated section. No, it's not. Velveeta Mm-mm. sits on the shelf. Nope. I think they. I think they moved it into the refrigerator. Yeah, it's in the refrigerator. Oh, well, yeah, for, but it used to be on the shelf. Because yeah. you couldn't find it. It wasn't on an aisle. It was always on some uh, yeah. random end cap somewhere. Yeah. You know? But also, I think they did move it into At the grocery store that I go to, it's in the refrigerator. Because I, I couldn't find it one day. Really? And I, and, and I had to ask, and they told me it was over. It's with the cheese. I'm like, since when? <laughs> so you don't need a refrigerator? No. It'll be fine? It says no. that two to three weeks it can be in your pantry. Yeah. After oh, you, no. But after you open it, you yeah. got to put yeah. it in the fridge. Yeah. Like when you buy a box of Velveeta in shells. Yeah, I guess. It nice. just seems mm-hmm. like that big block of cheese in your cupboard just seems wrong. See that, but the uh-huh. mistake you've made there is you referred to it as cheese. Yeah, it's not cheese. Yeah. But if you, take, <laughs> if you take that stuff and you make that Rotel and Velveeta dip and you add chorizo to it. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. That's really good. Or a, a like a, a taco beef, like season up mm-hmm. some ground beef, like a like a taco. My mom used to make that dip mm-hmm. all the time, cheeseburger dip. <sighs> Hell so yeah! Yeah, you be shipping batteries. Yep, <laughs> I was thinking. I was just thinking. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so good. From the Ace and TJ family. More, more next. Did you know underneath the floors of your house, a lot can go on in the crawl space? If moisture gets in, it could wreak havoc on your family and home. From mold and mildew growth to rotting wood and more, Cardinal Environmental Solutions offers vapor barriers, encapsulation, and dehumidifiers to combat moisture in your home. Contact Kelly Poplin and his knowledgeable team of experts at acetj.com slash cardinal. That's acetj.com slash cardinal. Hey, it's funny you'll share. The Ace and TJ family presents the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ Show. Uh, there is a uh, saying that I dislike. There are a lot, but this one I really dislike. When people say I was today years old when I found out, you know, whatever. Uh, but I was yesterday years old when I found out. Th- you know the girl that played uh, Jimmy's girlfriend on Yellowstone? The one that was the rodeo uh, girl? Yeah. The first one? The mm-hmm. yeah. I just found out yesterday that that's Josh Brolin's daughter. Really? Mm-hmm. Who's okay. Josh Brolin? Um, he is, um, is he a singer? James Brolin's son. <laughs> is he a singer? Are you thinking of James Brown? Or Gro- James Groban? <laughs> is there someone named? Josh Groban Josh is what Groban. you're thinking. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Groban. <laughs> you lift me up. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> 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 Sorry. Yes, he's Josh Groban's <laughs> sister. Josh Brolin, Josh Groban. <laughs> pretty funny. Um, I don't know what. Uh, jo- Josh um, uh, Brolin is an actor. So is his dad, James. His his dad is uh, or was married to Barbara Streisand. Oh. Have you seen Avengers, Alexis? Yeah. He's Thanos. Oh, cool. Okay. I was going to tell her that, Rod. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Those are. It's a. His the dad is good looking. I've seen yeah. a picture of He's him. He's still and good looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he played on a comedy not long ago. I can't remember the name of it. But it was on ABC and it had Tom Hanks' son in it. Um, but he played the dad in that. And he. Uh, he and his wife had these adult kids and their their grandkids and all that. I saw that show. Life in Pieces. Yeah, it was funny. It was a funny show. Yeah. Um, and, so and she's, he was ha- handsome still then. That's a handsome older guy. Yeah. She's his daughter, the girl from Yellowstone. 
she's his son's daughter. She's his granddaughter. Oh. Who did, who is Josh Brolin married to? Is he married or is he a single guy? I don't know. Josh Brolin. I don't know. Is she pretty? The daughter. The daughter, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw her in a movie yesterday called Arkansas. Um with is it Liam Hems, Hemsworth? And the guy, when once the office started not being f- as funny anymore, the little short guy that came in that worked for him, something Clark is his name. Oh, uh, with the glasses yeah. that looked like a baby Dwight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was in the movie, and um, Vince Vaughn. Mm, I like Nebraska? Vince Vaughn. And, um, uh, no, Arkansas. Arkansas. And um, what's the guy's name? I'll have to look it up, but it had an an older actor in it too that everybody loves. It's a big name, but anyway, it was about uh, the the um, uh, Arkansas drug cartel. Oh, and it was kind of a dark comedy. But uh, Liam Hemsworth is is he Australian? Yes. Okay. Well, he was doing a decent Southern accent in the movie. He's a pretty good actor. That's what I hear. And he's not the one that, that is uh, with Miley Cyrus, right? He was, yes. That was That's him. the one? Yep. It's fine, so. Mm. <laughs> but he, he has somebody better now, right? Uh, I Yeah, I would assume so. It's not nice. John Malkovich. <laughs> Ma- Malkovich was the other guy that yeah. I was trying to think of. He's good. Mm-hmm. What's well, not nice? He being like, he has someone better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, better for him at the moment at his at his stage in life. Mm. It's messed up. <laughs> yeah, Josh Brolin's wife is Catherine Boyd. Mm. She is very attractive, as you would yeah, assume. That makes sense. Because he's so, a really good-looking guy. That movie being John Malkovich is actually about the actor. Mm-hmm. Oh. I've never seen that. I've I never either. seen either, but I was I've always heard the title of it. Well, TJ's not gonna like it. Science fiction. He made a movie by himself. <laughs> he didn't make mm-hmm. the movie. He I don't think he it. is. He even in the movie? Yeah, he's in yeah. it. Oh. Yeah. Like, we're making a movie called Being John Malkovich, and you can't be. <laughs> you can't be in it. <laughs> That's the point of the movie: is that you can't be in it. <laughs> you can't even watch it. Exactly. Yeah. Then I say, no, you can't make the movie. Like, we're already doing it. it. Yeah. Too bad. We already did it. It's already done. <laughs> we don't need your permission. <laughs> This is bullshit. <laughs> You're not even allowed to comment on it. There's a gag order on you. Yeah. Next week, uh, Riggins is off on Tuesday, and we're going to do Being Riggins that day. Yeah. <laughs> like, can I at least come to the premiere? We're kind of, we're kind of booked up. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a movie. How about how effing crazy you are? Uh, what? No. That's and funny. Yet, not allowed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and um, yeah, so... This the whole movie was directed by Clark Duke, the guy from The Office, and it was also written by. He was one of the writers and uh, producers. Hmm. I didn't so, hear a thing about it. It's uh, it's almost like, it almost seems like an independent film. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't get it. I probably wouldn't. <laughs> it's about the Arkansas drug cartel, but like, mm-hmm. huh? What? Yeah, I'm trying to find uh, Hercules Film Fund. Is on the list of production companies. So, yeah. Well, it says distributed by Lionsgate. Yeah. But that's spelled G A I T. <laughs> yeah. It's so maybe different. But was it good? The original. Uh, yeah, it, it was interesting. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not not something I'm going to be saying. Oh, you got to go see that. You got to you got you to watch that today. But it wasn't bad. I like um, Vince Vaughn. Oh, and Vivica A. Fox was in it, too. Ooh. She's still fine. What? Yeah, she's hot. She's real hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't know this. Somebody just DM'd us and said, you probably know this, but the girl that plays Teeter on Yellowstone. That's Michael Landon's daughter. I didn't know that. You didn't? Mm-mm, I had no idea. Oh, my God, you're today years old. Yeah, I had <laughs> no idea. When you found that out. You she also that? plays on Animal Kingdom. She had a recurring role on that show. I like the name Teeter. Teeter. Mm-hmm. Oh, Teeter. Oh, he's from the Ingalls show. Hmm? He's from the Ingalls. Little House yeah. on the Prairie. Yeah, Little House on the Prairie. Laura Ingalls Wilder and the whole mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Teeter is his daughter. Yeah. He yeah. also had a show called Heaven. It was, I mean, heaven uh, can wait. Stare, heaven's no, gate. Uh, Heaven's Gate. Seven, seven. Uh, <laughs> no, it was uh, Heaven in Seven and Minutes in Heaven. Highway to Heaven. Was it Highway to Heaven, teacher? Highway to Heaven. Yes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we would have eventually gotten. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let us work it out our own way. <laughs> Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> Seventh heaven. <laughs> <laughs> like, seventh heaven. Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> Ruth, <laughs> heaven can wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, she's pretty though. That that Brolin girl is very pretty. Yeah. Um. I don't go much for the uh, Western wear look on a woman. Uh, like in Yellowstone, but she was prettier in this other one too. Yeah. Me. I don't, but it can be hot. I like a good old cowboy boots and a mm-hmm. cowboy hat. Well, I mean, I don't think she was wearing cowboy hats. So she was wearing those those snap up f- uh, plaid shirts and yeah. jeans and boots, like a real rodeo cowgirl would be wearing. Not oh, yeah. a, uh, not a um, Western themed strip show. <laughs> Whatever. Like a porn cowboy. <laughs> it's a porn cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you're describing uh, is a porn cowboy. <laughs> she was a, didn't have six shooters attached to her bra. <laughs> we know now what you watched over the weekend. Right, what, do you, what do you do for a living? I'm a porn cowboy. <laughs> The Share Funny Podcast is a production of the Ace and TJ family. To get more Ace and TJ 24-7, download the Ace and TJ app. Just search for Ace and TJ in your app store. All Share Funny material, copyright ATJ Incorporated 2021.